All right, let's feed the birds. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hello. Are you all hungry? All right, that's my chair. Can I sit there, please? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yes, but that's my chair. I'm getting to you if you'll just move so I can sit down. Oh, you're okay. You're all on my chair. <laughs> all right, move out of the way. Let me sit down. Aren't you going to move? No, that's all right. I'll just sit here anyway. All right, there we go. Hi. Are you just going to sit there next to me, are you? <laughs> oh, all right. Let's see if I can do this one-handed with the um, camera in one hand. You dropped it. You're just going to sit on me, are you? Hmm? Are you? Okay, well, hang on. Let me just get some food for you. Just wait. There you go. You sit over there. <laughs> oh gosh. Did that other bird take yours, Cookie? Hey. Oh dear. You want some too? Alright, here, catch. I don't have enough hands for everybody. I need more hands. Who wants to come and help me feed birds? Oh, there's the big ibis. We've got a crow as well. Hello, crow. What are you carrying on about? There you go. You're saying you forgot me. All right, little butcher bird. Ready? Catch. Well done. Where's your mate? That was for your mate, not for you, you greedy guts. G'day, guys. Welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I am just testing my resin here and we're up to 39 degrees Celsius. Now this is the Platinum 360 Plus. So with this one, it's a thinner resin. It's a two to one resin. So I like to get it up to closer to, you know, 38 to 40 degrees. And this is my blossom mold. So I'm going to add some, I'm going to take some out, probably 30, actually probably not. I'll just put 20 grams in here. Uh, for my white, it's got my little scale over here, 21, close enough, and the rest of it will just pour in here. So this one I made up 150 grams of part A and 65 grams of part B, so I've got 215 grams. I don't think I'll use any more, I'll just leave it at that. Uh, the Platinum 360 Plus doesn't like to be poured too deep. So, oh, we're about, oh, I can't use it. Waste not, want not. It's about, it's, it's about halfway full, I guess. The mould itself is about, it, well, it is 10 mil deep. 10 mil deep, that is. Now, what I want to do is, I'm just going to go in with my little spiky end here, and I'm just going to make sure that I've got no bubbles in these points, because the, if there's going to be a bubble, it's going to be collecting in those little points. Nova, why do you always bark when I start my videos? Naughty girl. It's winter, but it's a beautiful, sunny, warm morning. <laughs> and the dogs are a bit, yay, it's warm. All right, that'll do. Okay, so that's for my white, but I'll drop the inks first. I'm going to do some purples and pinks today, and I want a very delicate sort of pale bloom that I'm going to go for. So uh, I'm going to go with these, Deco Rom. They're not all that highly pigmented. So 
oops, it's not exactly centered. So they spread more. The more highly pigmented the um, the ink is, the less it wants to spread. Uh, so that's purple and this is peach. I'm just going to do one in each little petal there. Love this mold. I designed this one specifically for 3D blooms. Like I said, I don't want to put too much color in, so I'm just going to, I'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, I just love the shape. We've got seven petals and I like the odd number. So 20 grams in there, two drops of bloom paste. It's nice and easy. You don't have to worry about how much paste am I pulling out of my little tub. Squeeze, wait for it drops to come to the edge there and let it drop. Squeeze, wait for it to come to the end, let go, let it drop. So do. That's all I'm going to do. Close that off. Put it back upside down, ready to go for next time. Let's see what that looks like. So I can see it, feel it's nice and warm. I haven't used the Platinum 360 Plus for a while and I thought I would revisit it. I used to use it all the time for my blooms. I haven't even got my bag ready yet, actually. I was making porridge um, <laughs> in the microwave and I just put it on and then I thought, oh gosh, I better come and check, see what's going on with my my resin. And then I came back and it was already on 38 degrees. I thought, jeez, I better start my video real quick. There we go. So I haven't even got my piping bag out yet. I might actually you know what I might do. I might just put a little bit, just like that. Add in that little bit of purple. Right, I think that will be enough. Like I said, I don't want it to be too much. I don't want it to be too much. Probably got too much in the center, but everything moves to the center. Um, I need to get a piping bag. This is the small. It comes in small, medium, and large. Um, and it's still too big for me, so I just cut the top off like that. Don't need that. And then it fits in nicely into my little cup. Like so. Okay, I think we're good to go here. Um, I'm going to try not to put any glitter in the center, and I'll just do little dots, you know, like the fireworks. Hopefully those of you that follow me know what I'm talking about with my fireworks, little dots in the centre. See how that goes, eh? I'll clean off my stick. I'll just reuse them. Alright. Give that a quick little torch. Try not to melt your plastic. It's feeling quite nice and warm now. I can feel it's warmer than my body temperature. Okay, tuck that in. I'll give it a good twist and then just tuck it. You can tie a knot, you can put a clip on it, whatever you feel comfortable with. Now, I don't want to make these too big. I'm going to cut about there. I might even do two layers rather than try and put too much in the in one layer because I'm I want to try for some really sort of delicate looking petals. That's quite big still. <laughs> All right. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start just dripping a few little dots. I'm not squeezing. I'm just dripping from the bag. And this will be my center. Hopefully I'm making them centerish. One in the middle. Yeah, that'll do. All right, now I'm going to go around like so. And we go. Mm. 
Now you want your lines to be relatively thick, otherwise when it when the red the resin moves from the outside in, um, it needs to be thick so that you know you can actually it can actually spread. I think that's all I'm going to do for the first for the first layer. I don't want to overcrowd it or anything. Now I'm just going to, oops, you look a little bit thin, you do. There we go. So what I'm going to do is just, oops, very carefully just spread these little blobs without disrupting my dots. Trying to spread those. Hopefully I'm not disrupting my little dots. I just don't want a blobby. Okay, so that's that's all I'm going to do for this layer. Um, I'm not going to torch at the moment. I find that the heat sometimes affects the ink, the paste, and it gets like these little holes in it, little dots. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Once it's finished moving, um, I'll come and torch. But look, there's no you don't need to torch. There's no point. I don't see the advantage um, really in in torching at the moment. Okay, hopefully that'll be all right. So anyway, I will come back. Um, I can see that those dots are moving already. Hopefully my white will bloom nicely. I can see it starting to bloom already. This is where I've added that extra little bit. It looks a bit messy. I should probably just leave it. I'll, I'll bring you down so that you can see it's starting to bloom already. And I need to go and check my porridge in the microwave. <laughs> Oatmeal? Porridge. Yummy! Nice and creamy and smooth. I don't like lumpy porridge. So you can see those blooming already. So I'm not going to torch it. I'm not going to use the heat gun. I'm just going to leave it. Let it do its thing. Uh, and then I'll come back and do another layer. And uh, yeah, we'll see see what that looks like. I guess I could have done another layer, like another one in here. Probably could have, but that's all right. I'll do I'll do it next time. All right, see you soon. Before I go, I forgot to use my my stick to pull through the center. Um, I was too busy showing you that it's blooming and I haven't done it yet. You know, I should have, I should have done, it doesn't matter, it's done now. It's going to go through here, pull it to the centre. I don't really know what I was thinking. I didn't have a plan before I started, so I just sort of started. Normally I'd have a plan, I'd draw it up in my notebook and you know, do all that, but yeah, I probably don't have enough anyway in here to do another petal in each. So next time, once this is cured, I'll do another layer and we'll do we'll do some more petals. So yeah, see you then. All right, this has cured. The good thing about the Platinum 360 Plus is it cures really quickly. So if you want to do another layer, you only have to wait a couple of hours. Uh, and, and if you're just you know doing one piece, you can probably unmold in like four hours depending on where you are your temperature in your room so yeah it's it's a really good all-rounder just doesn't like being poured too deep right let's check the the temperature 39.7 degrees celsius so that's good i'm going to pour that out so i've just mixed up the same amount i did 150 grams of a 65 grams of b i don't think i'll bother doing a top coat I think two coats is enough two layers is oh gosh it's a bit full two layers is enough okay I didn't need so much I'm gonna have to take some out oh gosh gosh darn it because I actually oh, I did say to you that I'd pour it just over half the first time didn't I and here I am making making the same up again and obviously I didn't have as much room so it's gone over it's gone over a little bitty all righty I've got a little um, I have 
haven't got very much left but let's just do a, a little one on the side I need to put some I'm going to put 20 grams in here for my white same as last time and actually I'll do 25 Hopefully I've got enough left for this little guy here. It's just a little spare coaster mold sitting on the side. It's probably not going to be very deep now because I don't really have a lot left over, but I don't want to waste it. We can get a little baby bloom out of this one, can't we? We can. Okay, let's pour the rest into this one. So it's going to be quite, quite a shallow one, I think. take a little bit more out of that thing is if you make your, your bloom too thin uh, it doesn't spread properly so you got to be careful to have a decent amount of of resin in your mold just cleaning off my stick here now I'll just clean my gloves because I've got some resin on them all right, um, so what I thought I would do, I'm going to do like another row of petals and I'm going to put a little bit of this grape, just a little bitty, just kind of between these pink ones. And I was saying to myself, I wasn't going to use very much ink in this pour <laughs> and I've done a lot of ink, but I'm not going to do a background, so that kind of makes up for it. All right, so we've got... 25 grams in here so I need two big drops or like three tiny ones but there we go two big ones will do for that and we'll give that a stir while the resin is or the ink is moving oh I should put some ink in this one too shouldn't I let's do the same thing let's just do some actually oh you're right let's Put a bit of grape in there. Is that the grape? No, that was lavender. A little bit of that. And a little bit of this one. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. All right, that'll do. Let's mix this up. Yeah, the, uh, it's bloomed really nicely in there. Looks really pretty. Almost, well, it's moved about that much, these petals. They've moved about that much down from the top, which is great. Okay, I think I've got that stirred in really well. I can feel it's getting nice and warm. Pour it into the piping bag. Some spilling. Okay, that's that done. Clean that up. All right. So I, what I thought I would do is I'm going to go inside that original petal and then I'm also going to go inside like where the point's coming down. I'm going to do a petal there as well. Just because I've never done that. <laughs> and I'm going to see what it looks like. All right, there we go. Take a little bit off. Wind it up to make sure you don't have, you've got all the air out of it. Okay. Here we go. Actually, but hold on to that. Here we go. So I'm going to do another one there, and then another one there, and another one there. You get the general idea. Probably making them a bit big, actually. Okay, there we go. <laughs> you need to go in a little bit more. Now, because this is the top layer, we're not really going to see these, I don't think, but I'll just pull them in anyway, like so. 
making a bit of a mess there. Again, I'm not torching. I didn't need so much white. All right, let's do this little guy as well. I'm just going to do a, a spiral on this one, I think. And we go. Okay. Just wondering if I need any more. No, let's not do any more. Because, see, the bloom has come down to about there. And then we'll have like a little gap. So if you wanted to put um, another, like a top coat on, well, not that I've got room, but you do kind of need to leave a little bit of space for it. So now I'll take this. And we'll just do our little in at 12, 6, 3, and 9, like so. And we'll split the difference in the middle. That one doesn't really need to have anything done to it. It can just, can just stay there. And then each one of those I am just going to pull out. Like so. Just a little play piece, really, a little bonus. There we go. Oh, it's not touching. Okay, let me have a look at these. See what's going on. Make sure everything's pulling in nicely. And I will just give it a bit of a swirl, just, just because it looks nicer. Like, you don't need to, but it just looks nicer. I don't know what's going on over here. Oh, actually, no, it's all right. The, the ink's come over the top of the, the petal. Okay, so now, I mean, I've still got some left, but you don't have to use it just because you've got it. So now what I want to do is I want to pull through these, each one. So now I'm getting that little bit of purple coming through. Can you see? Because I put the purple ink in the, in the center. So we're just getting a little bit of that purple coming through. Oops, you didn't get any. Let's try that again. Ta-da! There we go. That's done. All right. Excuse me, dogs. It's always Nova. My daughter's trying to... She's in there. <laughs> My daughter's in there. Ah, oh, no, we're not torching. We're not torching. All right. I'm going to cover this and uh, I will come and unmold it in about four hours, I guess. All right. Oh, shit. I'm going to, I could put you on pause. I'm going to get myself all cleaned up here and I'm going to come back and like zoom you in so that you can have a look. All right. It's probably made about 15 minutes or so. I was pottering in the studio. Um, I think I missed this little dude here this one <laughs> so I did that one and I did that one and I think I missed him so I actually went out and got my little bag of leftover paste and put that in there it was a little while after I when I noticed it so I don't know whether it'll bloom as well it might have been a bit thick but I thought oh, I'll just I'll try it did you notice that as well or am I just seeing things I, I thought I had missed it but um look it's blooming Really, really pretty. Now I remember why I really like the Platinum 360 Plus for blooms. Yeah. Different resins will definitely give you different effects. Even if you're using the same pigment paste and the same inks, uh, the different resins certainly will give you a different effect. Anyway, um, yeah. Wish me luck. I'll, uh, I'll come back to you shortly when it's time to unmold. All right, it has cured. Didn't take very long at all. It's fantastic. Uh, let's have a look at this one. This one's a little bit softer because it's probably a bit thinner. So we'll do this good little guy first. Deeper resin cures faster. It gets hotter faster. All right. Let's have a little look. Oh, that's so sweet. Look at it. It's really pretty. 
That's so cute for a little leftover, isn't it? One little tiny little blobby bit there. I kind of feel like I want to put like a little tiny sticker on it or something just in the middle. But anyway, look, practice. A little practice, dude. He's very sweet. And I like how my colours have sort of melded into each other. Very pretty. All right. Now, put him aside for a minute. Am I dropping on top of you? Bits and pieces. All right, let's get this one out. I have overfilled my mould, so it's gone over these little points a little bit. I tried to trim them on there, but I'll have to wait till afterwards <laughs> and do it. Yes, I knew I had put too much in there. I was scooping some out. And then, of course, when I put the white in, <laughs> I had more in there as well. Oh, oh, look at that. So we have got quite a lot of transparency in there, which is fine. And now I'm just going to use the black card for the moment. It's a nice, thick, quite a deep mould, this one. So that's, that's good. All right, how are we going to do this? Um, all right, we'll just... Are you ready? <laughs> Let's just do this. I can't hold it. I don't know where I'm holding. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. <gasps> Let me put it down and center it. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. <gasps> wow. Let me zoom you down a bit. How's that? <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. Goodness me. Look at my center. <gasps> It's so pretty. I don't know where to look first. Yeah, it's really good. Like my bloom, the, the blooms have bloomed beautifully. Um, and we've got a little bit of space between them. And I, you know, I did that on purpose. Well, this one hasn't. But um, I was trying to do it on purpose to leave a little bit of space behind. Because then when you go and do a top coat, if you do a top coat, um, you can see the, the colour through there, whereas if it closes up all the way like that, you can't really see the colour. Look at my Santa! It's so pretty. I like it when I like the fireworks. It looks like stamen in a real flower, doesn't it? I'll take you down so that you can have a, a better little look. Even though I've got ring lights and things shining on it, it's uh, decided it's going to be, be a rainy, overcast afternoon so can't go outside but look at that wow really happy with it very pretty let me know what you think do you like it i love it all right i will take some nice photos when i can tomorrow when the sun's out and uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to go back to my 360 plus for more blooms uh, I do have a link and a coupon code for platinum or DIY composites and uh, you can also buy the 360 plus overseas now as well so that's great I'll just love that centre Bit of orange in there might look nice too. Hey, maybe next time. Bit of orange. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this one. I've enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you all again real soon for the next one. Take care. Bye for now.